and it's a go. We got the butt hoodie on. One second, I'll be right back. Hey, you wanna be my friend? Oh, no. okay, okay, is it recording? Hi, hello, this is Major David. Now that little cutie loaf of just love bread is my new cat. She is my new roommate, my new companion. Right now, that is the woman in my life. I mean, I, I mean, I have other ladies in my life. They're ghosts that haunt this house that I have sex with. No, but let me tell you a little bit about that new little baby kitty. First off, that kitty is not a kitten. That is a full-grown, one-year-old cat. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Mitchell, how is that possible? She has stunted growth, which means that this cat is not gonna get any bigger, ever. And that just makes me wanna squeeze her. Not in a bad way, not in a, no. she's eating. I can hear her eat, I can hear a little. So I knew at first that I wanted to get a cat that was rescued. Because let's be honest, there are cats everywhere. And I, I wanted to give one a home that didn't have a home. So I'm looking around and I'm looking at, they have this thing called the kitten room. It was, I mean, you just sit there and kittens just come all, they just flock to you and they sit on you and you feel like the kitten king and it is the best feeling in the world. We're talking about butts. No, we're not. We're talking about kittens. Cats. Meow. So I'm looking around and none of these cats are really, you know, jamming my jams. But this one cat locked eyes with me and she was in the corner, she was so skittish, she was a teensy little, just a turd of a cat, just small. Which you saw previously. Sorry if I sound sick by the way, I've been sick for like the past month. It's been pretty cray cray. But back to my pussy. So I pick her up, I pet her for a bit, I look at her, I tell her that she's the best, and then I go, I have to go. They're closing, I have to leave, what to do? I'm thinking about this cat, this cat is on my brain, has just been sitting not on my heart, but maybe my lungs. So finally, I collect myself. I say, you know what? Today's the day. Well, hey. She hides underneath that chair. That's just what she does right now because she's new to this environment. And I'm okay with that. I'm gonna give her space. And I've been reading a lot of cat blogs. Wait, sh where was I? Okay, wait, wait. Yeah, so I go back and I, I, I find her that she's there. Thank goodness. I was uh, so afraid that she was gonna be gone. Ah, I can say it if you just give me a second. And then one of the workers comes in and I was like, can you tell me a little bit about this cat? Huh? Can you? Can you give me a little bit of the two cents on this little love ball? And she tells me that this cat was found behind a Wendy's. Whoa. So I was already like, oh man, this could be my little chicken nugget. And then secondly, she tells me about the stunted growth. And that's when m just my whole body just puckered. I just... Wait, you're saying that she's gonna be tiny forever? Now naming this cat was a big deal to me. That last one hurt my finger. So I've been living with her, and I've been hanging out with her, and sitting with her, and petting her, and just doing all this cool cat owner, cat thing to owner that. One kind of stuck, and uh, her name is Megabyte. And I make this for her name, because I'm just that kind of guy. And every once in a while, she'll be popping up in videos, so you'll get to see her, you'll get to know her make a bite. And she's all over my Instagram. She is she is just a little cat model. But I wanted to make a little bit of a video just to introduce you. And I would go try to pick her up again, but she's such a little skittish butthole uh, that I doubt she's gonna let me set her up here. Actually, let's just go film her. Okay guys, logo. 